Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany and welcome in my basement. Uh, a month ago I um, make a video session and uh, try to uh, realize our PNP platform or plugin with my old CNC machine, that's the eShape Oko. And um, I found an issue that, that was, uh, yes, the machine was not very accurate. I try everything. I changed the power supply. I changed um, the timing belts and the pulleys. And I changed everything, but I found if I move this 9.1 millimeter, then the first 9.1, it's lost. The second was 9.93 and the third was 9.1. I can't work with this and um, um, yes, I changed also the CNC controller. Uh, thank you, John. He sent me or the synthetos sent me a tiny G, but doesn't work the same. And I think it's a physics problem because um, the, yes, the, the steppers uh, can't uh, so accurate moving in this uh, construction. And then I decide it's time for my birthday gift or present. And then I decide a new machine must here. And I order it a CNC 3040. And that's my new machine. Here I am proud to present my new CNC 3040, but now the uh, work will begin because I have a lot of to do to make this um, correct. And um, okay, I want to explain a little bit uh, about my new CNC machine. Uh, you see everything is finished now, but first of all, I have to change um, the yeah, stupid uh, CNC controller over the parallel port to my new Tiny G in this enclosure. And I want to show you now how it works. So the installation of this machine, uh, of this Tiny G V8 board was very um, easy. You see here the, I think, X, Y and Z axis. That's the cable, the wire for the spindle. Also, you can see here, uh, we can switch on the spindle and switch off the thing. Also, we can um, uh, control the RPM of the spindle. And <coughs> the, the Tiny G, I put uh, some alloy uh, cool down uh, profiles under this um, uh, Tiny G board. And it was very easy, yes? I need only two holes and I can screw this with a distance bolt and yes it was very easy to install but everything needs some time you see also the stupid uh, USB cable here I need a hole I try to um, get a 90 degree uh, uh, USB cable but this was not the right direction I have to send this back to uh, Amazon but it doesn't care I want also um, install a second um, um, van. Yes, here it comes uh, it will screws on the enclosure here, and then he can pump fresh air to the tiny G or f f uh, back from the tiny G. Yeah, we'll see forward. And <clears throat> so the next step was to install a micro switch, you see this here. The problem on this micro switch also I have this uh, on the X axis, this is for the Y axis, was how can you uh, fit this micro switch here on this aluminum profiles and so on. You need only a two and a half millimeter uh, driller. Then you um, make a hole with this driller and you need this nice thing here. It's, you can make, maybe hopefully you see this. Yeah, okay. Uh, this has a little um, uh, driller on the start and then you can cut uh, a thread 
and it's a kind of tapper. And uh, this is uh, very easy. And then I put this only with a little screw, uh, M3 screw. You find the screws um, in old PCs and so on. They use this a lot uh, to, uh, uh, yes, uh, install the PC board in this enclosure and so on. Uh, you know what I mean. And we have this here. And I hope you can see this on the, also on the uh, X axis. It was also a lot of work. You see it go to a screw block. I hope you see this and go uh, to the tiny G enclosure. Works very well. And um, you find, you see maybe also, uh, wait a little moment. My little looks not very nice, but uh, it's good for my um, uh, desktop because uh, I get a lot of dust here. And it's not so nice when I have this dust on this side. Uh, I need a um, vacuum cleaner, I think, uh, to suction all this dust uh, uh, from the spindle. But now um, I have some plans and we see forward I can uh, uh, make our PNP platform very fast. And here you see my first result. That's a new PNP platform millet on the CNC 3040. And you see, my first problem was this was not 8.1 millimeters. On an old machine, they only millet 7.8 millimeters. And now you can see it, yeah, it's slipping in this um, a kind of tunnel and so on. Uh, and uh, it works very well. Also, uh, to see here, this magnets are very good. Yes, everything works, and uh, I'm very happy with this machine. But the first uh, question was, how can I install the waste board? And you know, my lovely double side tape. It's from Tesa. You can see this so, and uh, I glue this um, waste board on my machine, and you see this in the next video now. So let's go, first of all, the double tape taser on the waste board. Then we have to measure the distance between the corner of this machine and uh, the waste board very accurate. Mark this on a, uh, on, a, on a aluminum board and then we clamp this second board to mill our PNP platform. So now first I test the homing switches and it works very well. The next one was to test the pet probe and try to make the first prototype for the PNP platform. And I have to say uh, the machine are very good and very accurate. I have to play a little bit with the outside diameter of the end mill. And uh, my perfect result is uh, 2.9 instead of 3 mm outside a millimeter in cam um, the, the performance from the machine was also very good. And uh, the result you can see in the next seconds was very good. I like this. And um, you see here the first prototype um, it was. Uh, Waste board, and now you see the results.
So now I want to uh, create the PNP header. Uh, it's a holder for our uh, auger pump and normally also um, the holder for our little small NEMA 8 stepper. He hold the Yuki nozzle and <coughs> works as a vacuum nozzle. And now <coughs> you can see the complete process to design this PNP holder in Kembem. Maybe you need uh, some advices and so on. Stop this video and uh, check my values uh, if you want. Also, I have a GitHub URL. You can download this Kembem files and also the G code files. And I hope you like it. And uh, yes, I think it's very interesting to see uh, how you design this uh, PNP holder and um, the milling and the results you will see after this um, screencast.
After the design comes the milling process. You see this on my new machine. Enjoy it. And um, yes, then we can see after this uh, little video here um, when it's finished and also the result. So here you see a uh, result from the header. Um, we have some holes for uh, our uh, auger pump, also for the memory aid. And now <coughs> you see, I found this very funny. Um, <coughs> you see how I cut the throated uh, bolt. It's a M10 bolt. It means it's a Closer outside diameter of 10 mm. It's um, very stable because we need it to clamp our PNP uh, header to this uh, CNC 3040. <coughs> Here, see, I use it was my second trial. The first trial, the sorted nut was too short, <laughs> but now we see yeah, Frank working as metal worker. <coughs> I like this machine. It's from Proxon Micromod. Uh, it's an industrial, uh, I don't know, so industry schleifer. I try to find this word. And um, yes, works very well. First, uh, I have a little bit pain in my arm because the first try was with a normal Säge. And uh, I tried to cut this manual. And uh, yeah, it was not very nice and need so long time and now my arm has a little bit pain. <laughs> so now you see here my little 503 uh, Yuki nozzle and you get some strange rings here. It was very interesting with this adapter and this Yuki nozzle from Robotech. I guess uh, with this adapter, right? Ah, yeah, and you can order also, you can say, okay, I want uh, uh, a nozzle. And you see here it's a 503. It's perfect for me because the inside diameter of this nozzle is 9.5 and the outside diameter is 9.8 millimeter. It's perfect for me because the, the tape, yes, D this holds here. They have 1.5 millimeters, and you can see I can put this here, transport 4 millimeters, go back, get the component, and let's go. So the funny thing are the, the rubber rings here. I guess, I don't know, but I guess maybe someone from you noticed um, that's the correct position of these rings. And the bigger rings go over the screws here. And then it's um, yeah for the for the air it's um, dicht. I don't know the the correct um, English word, but I hope. So now you put this here together, and then I screws a little bit there inside. I can't go this together now, correct? But you see here the the ring will go. Uh, in this first diameter here, and then I think it's dicht. We see forward, uh, I make some tests, but first of all, we have to make a PNP header. Uh, wait a second, I want to show you how in a very fast uh, episode. So here you see the little Nema 8 stepper and the adapter from Robotic. And you have to uh, press this together with, um, with this hollow shaft in this hole from the adapter. It's a little bit complicated, but it works. It is only a difference of 9.93 millimeters. And you can press together this, but please check this twice if it has not so much run out. I hope you can see this. Um, I put it a little bit so. Yeah. And now we try this. We rotate this 
little uh, adapter and you see the run out with your eyes and then you can see here it's a little bit higher as here and then you press on the lowest edge that this go a little bit in this direction. I want to show you this now. So wait, I test the run out. Yeah, but it's very small, this run out. And then here looks higher. Yeah, this edge is a little bit higher as this edge. And then we press, oh, wait, I must check again. It's very important, it's not rotating. So, and then we put this here on the, on the bottom edge and press this a little bit together. Yes, my run out is perfect now. You can see this here. Wait. So, my run out is perfect and it's enough for me. Okay, friends, I hope you like my very long video session today. And um, now I want to say what has happened in the next video session, session or next time. Um, I have my PNP platform now, the PNP holder, and now we come to the electronics. Um, I want to switch the vacuum uh, pump, not really the pump. I have a ventile here, a vacuum ventile. It's very cheap maybe two bucks or so and I think we need two of them but we wait next time uh, I want to explain why and I want to control this with this little MOSFET driver you see it's a four channel MOSFET driver maybe you found in US another one he can switch three ampere uh, at about 12 volts it's perfect for my um, for my um, ventil here for my air ventil and yes <clears throat> the electronics and now some uh, funny stories small funny stories uh, about uh, the pnp header you saw um, in the last time here in this video session here you see <clears throat> first of all it's a zero point the zero point it's the point when you start milling after the homing it's very uh, important because um, if you lost discount then you can't uh, position your machine not accurate uh, in the future and the second one you see here yeah that's the draft from my uh, pnp holder the first draft <laughs> okay i hope you like it and we see us next time bye bye